So Carnival has released some new information about the newest venue that is being added to the Carnival celebration, the ship that is being finished right now in dock. It is very exciting information, and I think this is actually a pretty cool idea. So let's let's kind of go over all this. Welcome everyone to Peer Runners. My name is Trevor Shelby and I upload daily carnival related content. This includes tips, tricks, hacks, my personal vlog, and then just about anything else, little random bits of news that I like to pick up here or there. So if you want to stay informed on what's going on in the cruising world, you are definitely in the right place. Also, I am the co-host of one of the greatest podcasts in the world carnival cruising podcast aways here we talk about tips tricks and the ins and outs of carnival cruising we interview the folks that make the fun ship fun links are in the description below uh, please excuse my voice today everyone uh, i am losing it slowly as the day goes on i've been sick and then yeah today just hasn't been that great for me but I was really excited about this news and yeah, let's, let's just dive on into this. So I've linked this down below where you can read the article, but the newest venue is called the Golden Jubilee. It's going to represent the evolution of carnival fun ships, including mementos from earlier vessels. This is really, really cool. It's a new bar and lounge that will be part of the ship's final to be announced zone. So there is still announcements out there that have not come out yet. And they're going to come out slowly as we get closer and closer to that inaugural sailing, I believe in November. What they've highlighted here is the Golden Jubilee is going to be on deck six. And it will feature artwork, memorabilia, and original pieces from Carnival's earlier vessels. So here's some mock-ups of what it's going to look like. I think this is really cool. I love the chandelier. I love the look of the bar. I love all the little details. If you pay attention to the blueprints up there, that is really cool. The seats look great. I, I can definitely see this as a place that I'm going to hang out. It does feel like a really kind of a, an older school lounge, which is something I really appreciate. Some of the lounges like on the ships, like the Sunshine, I absolutely like some of the stuff that they've done with that. The Havana Bar is one that comes to mind that just they went above and beyond and just made look amazing. Now here we are just outside the venue. There is the model of the celebration. We've got the portholes up there on the wall. They've noted that it will have a striking bar beneath a two deck high ceilings adorned with a multi-piece brass chandelier and surrounded by reproductions of blueprints depicting the evolution of Carnival's fun ships, including some hand-drawn designs from world-renowned architect Joe Farkas. So I'm not going to read this whole article out, but here is a lot of the information of all the little intricate details that they're putting inside the Golden Jubilee. It's going to have all these details from previous ships that are all coming together to complement this one unique bar space. It's very cool. It's also going to have a statue of Ted Arison, who's the company founder, and all kinds of really cool stuff. I can't wait to see this when it's finished. This is amazing. I think some of the coolest features is they're, they're going to have round windows reminiscent of the portholes that used to be on these older ships. The bar menu will also take guests on a journey through time as well, featuring an early version of the line's logo introduced in the 70s and the most popular cocktails throughout the decades since 1972. That's Carnival's founding year. Now, here's a trivia question. Do you know what Carnival's original tagline was? It wasn't always the fun ships. Pop that down below and yeah. 
the first one to actually get this right will get bragging rights over everybody else. You will have the biggest brain out of all of us. Also, tell me what you think about this news. I think this is exciting. I know that a lot of people have been hyping this announcement because it was a pre-announced announcement and there have been a lot of people hyping this. A lot of people kind of connecting the dots here or there kind of crazily with different mandates and everything else. But I am very happy with this. This is pretty much what I figured it was going to be when they announced the last zones for the celebration they basically said that there are more to be announced so when these announcements come out that's high on my list of things that's that may be it's pretty pretty cool so definitely let me know what you think down in the comments below is this something that you're excited about and are you looking forward to cruising on the celebration Anyways, guys, again, my name is Trevor, and most importantly, know that you matter, you are significant, and you are loved. I'll see you all next time. See ya.